Welcome to the introductory tutorial for Plan 8, our new Joomla 2.5 and 3.1 template. We're going to jump right in here and I'm just going to give you a basic tutorial of the website here and then the next video um, we're going to go into the back end and investigate a little more about how to set things up and how everything works in the back end. So let's get going here. Okay, so as you see, this is a really nice website with nice CSS3 hover effects, nice content, some really cool CSS3 effects, and some background color changing things, and then we have some more here, some nice hover effects, and then we're at the bottom of the site. So let's go ahead and find out what positions everything's in. So of course this is your logo. This is set in the back end of the template manager. You just upload your logo to the template images logos folder and then you can select it right from the back end. This is our main menu. Right now we're using the suckerfish style. And this is in the menu bar left position. You just put your menu in the menu bar left position and then in the template manager you can assign what kind of drop down you want and you can customize it all in the template manager. And here in the inset position we have a slideshow of these circles that are K2 articles. This is the title, this is the intro text, and there's the read more. So you see we've got a nice CSS3 transition working on it. So now we can scroll down here and we have user 1. And this is also the K2 content wall module. As you see this is a three column layout with some CSS3 effects and these are articles as well. And then here we've got our Deluxe News Pro here pulling one Joomla article and this is the full Joomla article the raw markup and everything and then here we've got our K2 content wall again as you see it's a totally different layout same thing though here's your title and you read more down here again K2 content wall title intro read more comments and how many views it's had and in the K2 content wall. So as you see, the entire home page is really built with our K2 content wall, and that kind of shows you, you know, how powerful the K2 content wall is. And wow, I got so excited about showing you the template, I didn't even tell you the rest of the module positions. So of course, this is inset here. This is user one. This is user 13. And this is user 19. This is user 25, this is user 31, and down here this is, of course, your footer module position. So let's go ahead and check out the responsiveness of the website here. Since we're on the home page, let's see how everything scales. So we're going to pull things in here. And you see once we get to this level, we've got the mobile menu. We have a search. Here these go to one column. We hide the middle, we've got this here, and we hide the bottom, and we put this here. And as you see, it's two column now, when as we pull it in more, we're going to snap here, and we're going to be one column. So as you see, everything's going to be very nice on a phone, on a tablet, and just about any device. So let's pull this back out, and let's go ahead and check out some of the uh, styling here. So here's your core Joomla content page. As you see, we have this little fly-in. This is a CSS3 slide-in effect that you can turn on and off in the back-end parameters. And it works for Region 3, which holds the component, and the left and right modules. So this is a standard um, page left large style. This uses a page class to create a big one here, two small ones here, and these down here. So let's go ahead and look at the standard article layout. You see we've got some modules here in the right position. Then we have our image, we have our title, and then we have the basic Joomla information here, the user and all this, and then uh, we have these are the links here, and here's our text, and down here we have the Comento component, which is a really nice comment component from our friends over at Stack Ideas. It's free. There's also a um, paid version and paid support. So let's go ahead and move on and go here to the content layouts. Here's our custom content layout. So here's the one column default. This is just a single column blog. And then here we have our one column round. 
And what this does is it rounds the images and puts the content over to the right for this. And then you've got a cool little hover effect here. These nice little print and email. And how you do the round class here, this is just a page class. So actually on the menu link here, we've actually added the page class blog round. And that takes care of it for you. So let's go ahead and look at the two column default. Here's two column default. And let's check out the two column round. Two column round. And let's go ahead and look at our center feature which again is this page class and we went ahead and put the round on these left featured and of course the right featured and in right featured we turned a little more on so you can see how everything looks if you want to have more than just the written by and these icons on so we can go over here now and let's check out K2 real quick um, the K2 item it's styled basically the same as the Joomla content we have the image over here for the written by and here's the written by information rating title here's your tools over here and more in this category and log in to post comments we've got the comments disabled here on the front end of the demo so now let's go ahead and look at the regular K2 blog here's a single column K2 blog and then let's go ahead here and look at the K2 blog round same styling as the Joomla content and then we've got the two column round and as you see this is also responsive we'll pull it in they shrink then boom, they move over get smaller and smaller and perfect and everything snaps too nicely so let's go ahead and check out the uh, the module suffixes here Here's all the different module suffixes you can have in the template. We've got our underlines, we have our boxes, we have our tabs, we have the normal colors, and then we have all the icons here. So let's head over to the uh, styles and let's see what we have here for styles. So here's our first style. This is the one we've already looked at. So let's move on to style two. Style two, we have a nice coffee cup and a iPad and you see the colors change a little bit they're a little more muted we don't have a background pattern here this background pattern changes colors change in here and we've got a nice blurred out image there so let's go ahead and look at the style 3 and more of the same subtle color changes nice little blue background in here and let's go ahead and check out style 4 pull the browser back in here I extended that a little far when we were checking that last responsive so see we've got some red blur here more color changes clean behind here different pattern here giving its fixed position so it gives you a little bit of like a uh, parallax kind of feeling as you scroll and of course the red down here so let's go back to style one and let me show you just a little bit about the layout options if you're familiar with our templates you'll know that we have regions things are set up into regions so basically you can select different regions to flip your content real easily from the back end so this region one is uh, has the inset in it this is where reg, uh, user 1 is, that's region 2. Region 3 holds a component, it's not shown on the front page, so this is region 4, 5, 6, and 7, and onward. So I'm going to show you a couple different layouts here. So let's do something a little drastic here, let's switch this up. Okay, so you see now we come down and we've moved this area to right here and then as we scroll down we move the call at the bottom to the middle and this at the bottom so it's a complete flip of the content real easy and then here's a another example for you you can have these up on the top 
this in the middle. In the next video, I'm going to show you the back end and how things are styled in the back end and the template parameters. I hope you enjoy our new template, and we'll see you in the next video.